Well, earlier this evening, uh, after what was a pretty sunset here in Springfield, we did see a few light showers move across the Springfield area. This is on the back edge of that cloud deck and those showers have now since moved off to the east and for the most part have dissipated, but we've got another pretty good cluster of showers dropping southeast across Lake of the Ozarks. That's going to be moving across Texas County and Shannon County and Dent County and, and Phelps County and uh, Mary's County. So this area here, generally speaking, uh, that will be the last of it. This is almost like a little clipper system that's moving across the area, kind of getting us ready for the upcoming winter season. Temperatures today. Not great, but not bad either. Uh, 57 was the afternoon high here in Springfield, which is really very close to where we should be for this time of the year. And that's what we've seen over the last several days, uh, really kind of going back to the end of last week through this past weekend. Temperatures which have been cool, maybe a little cooler than normal at times, but all in all pretty close to what you should expect for the middle of November. That has not been the case for the bulk of the month, though. Uh, most of November, temperatures have been running uh, below normal, in fact, well below normal in many cases. And when we average everything out, we're running about 7.5 degrees below average for the month of November. Uh, and as it stands right now, uh, this is uh, ranking as, as a top 20 coldest uh, November on record here in the Springfield area. And I think we're going to hold on to these cooler than normal readings generally through the rest of the month. Uh, getting back to our clipper system, again, you can see the shower sliding down toward the St. Louis area, toward the Mississippi River. This uh, clipper will move out overnight tonight, and it will take the showers with it. We've already seen clearing skies here in Springfield, and we're going to find that further east across our eastern counties, and that's going to open the door up to what should be a gorgeous day across the area. Yes, we have seen sunshine over the last several days, especially back on Saturday and on Friday, but we've not had those warmer readings. We're going to find those tomorrow with winds becoming more west to southwesterly, a warm wind direction for us and afternoon highs, which will respond by topping out in the low to mid 60s across the area. So after a chilly night tonight, where we're going to find lows in the upper 30s here over southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas and low 40s off to the east. We will find a milder day across all of the area tomorrow with highs near 60 in Rolla and Salem and uh, Eminence and in the low to mid 60s across the rest of the area. I think here in Springfield we're looking at a high tomorrow of about 62 or 63 and winds aren't going to be terribly strong uh, becoming southwesterly at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. This is the pattern we're looking at on Wednesday. Storm carving out in the western U.S. Southwest flow here into the midsection of the country. That's a mild looking pattern and we're going to find temperatures which are going to get in the mid to upper 60s for highs on Wednesday. And 70 is not out of the question for parts of the Ozarks, particularly off toward the south. Uh, so again, a mild day Wednesday. Looks like heading into Wednesday night, we'll see showers and isolated thunderstorms developing and then spreading through. Cold front won't go through until Thursday, though. It looks like about midday here in the Springfield area. And when that front moves through, we'll see a chance for a few showers. And temperatures will, will actually be warmest during the morning in the 60s and then fall back into the 50s. Now, as we get into Thursday evening, I expect a flare up of showers and thunderstorms near that front across northern Arkansas, with showers as far north as about I 44. And then during the day on Friday, as the core of the system approaches our area, we should see light showers envelop all of the area. And it could wrap up with a chance for a few snow flurries or very light snow, especially closer to central Missouri as we're heading into Friday evening. That storm moves out. Beautiful weather moves in for the upcoming weekend, and so will a warming trend. After a cold and damp day on Friday, we'll see highs in the mid-40s Saturday, and I think maybe upper 50s on Sunday before 60s Monday. Okay, and we don't even have to wait too long for that warming trend to start when we wake yeah. up in the morning either, so yeah. that's nice. Mm -hmm. All right, what's our viewers' club number? Well, the number is 136-193, and our jackpot tonight is $700. All right, Jamie, thanks.